Hey everyone, today we're going to show you how to get Microsoft Office for free and legally. You'll get Word, PowerPoint, Excel and more, so check it out. Hey everyone, it's Ken here from Northern Viking Every Day and if you are new to this channel, it is all about reviews and how to's, so make sure you click that subscribe button so you don't miss out on upcoming videos. Today we're going to show you how to get Microsoft Office for free. It's legal and put out by Microsoft. The only thing you do need is an internet connection. You're going to get Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Outlook, Skype, OneNote, and more, all for free. So let's get right into this. We're going to head on over to my desktop onto the internet right now. So today we're going to be using Google Chrome for this, but if you're using Mozilla or Internet Explorer or other web browsers, those should all work for you. As well, we're doing this in Windows 10, but if you're using Linux or Mac, you should have no problem at all. Later on in the video, we're going to show you a second method. If you are using Windows 10, that's probably a little bit easier for you. But right now, let's use this method that'll work well for everybody. Now, the first thing you're going to type in is office.com, and it's going to bring you to this website. And there's a couple different options here for you. The one we're not using today is this Get Office button. This is where you'd go if you do want to purchase Microsoft Office. Also, if you do want to purchase it, I will have a link below in the description to Amazon. You can pick it up there as well, but you can purchase it here or off Amazon if you want to use the paid version. We're looking for the free version today, which is right here. You're going to click on Sign In. And now you might be saying, I don't have an account for, for Microsoft. Well, no problem. It is totally free. You can just click here. It says no account. Create one if you want to create an account. But if you do have a Hotmail account, an Outlook account, or a Skype account, you can just go ahead and type that in right here. I've created this sample one that we can use for this demonstration. Then we're just going to go ahead and click Next. From there, it's going to ask for our password. And I'm just going to punch that in. And that's going to load us right into this website with Microsoft Office in it. So we're going to get to showing you those programs here in a moment. But one thing I do want to say from my research is that most of the features that are included in the paid version are included in this free version. But if you are looking for some of those advanced features, they might not be there. But hey, this is free. And for an everyday user like myself, it's more than enough. So I do want to mention that with this free Microsoft account, you do get five gigabytes of free storage in your OneDrive. So you can store all your files for Word, Excel, PowerPoint, etc. online. But if you don't want to do that, you can download them to your desktop. We'll show you how to do that in a moment. We'll go through some of these programs here. I'm not going to go through them all. Outlook, if you want to um, do all your email and stuff on here, you can do that. OneDrive is like a storage for your cloud where all your files will be. Well, let's load up Word. That is probably the most popular one that people use. And there's all sorts of templates here if you want to um, create open house flyers or reports or different things. But I just made a quick, um, this is a test document here and we'll load that up. And as you can see, as this loads up, it's got, this is a test, Microsoft Word, and it looks pretty much the same as Microsoft Word that you'd purchase. You can just type your letter in there. You can change the colors. You can change the headings, the size, no spacing. You can do all that. You can change the fonts here like any other um, Word document. It is all there. And so you've got this Word document and now you're like, hey, I want the actual file on my desktop. So that's super easy to do here as well. You can just hit File and go down to Save As gives you a whole bunch of options here so you can download a copy you can download a PDF if you want so if you want to email it as a PDF but let's just download a copy of this so you can maybe send it to someone else so just click download a copy there and this will pop up you just click download and you can see I have it set up it's just gonna start downloading there I'll move that to the side and we can drop that on our desktop and we have that word document on our desktop now super easy to do so that is Microsoft Word. Let's head on back out here to our office and we'll show you PowerPoint and Excel quickly. Let's start with Excel. So once you've got Excel loaded up, again, there are a ton of free templates for you to use. Let's check some of those out. Again, you've got calendars, Gantt charts, but if you click here, you've got a button that says more templates and there's a whole ton that come up. You can do invoices, timesheets, 
um, daily schedules, all sorts of stuff. So go check those out. And again, even at the bottom, it says explore more templates there, but we're gonna go back and we're gonna load up this test Excel sheet that I made. And again, you can see once this loads up that it just looks like any other Excel spreadsheet that you'd make. Um, you can, I just made this simple one for adding up numbers, but if I, you know, add those in there, it'll add them up for you. You can do pretty much everything that you wanna do in Excel right here for your everyday user. So that is Excel. The next thing I wanted to show you, let's just head out to the office here, and I wanted to show you PowerPoint. So again, PowerPoint, again, is free. And again, they have tons of themes here for you to choose from. So if you scroll down there, you've got all sorts of them to choose from, and again, free. Um, but let's head over here and do the test PowerPoint that I pre-made. And again, this just loads up like every other PowerPoint. You can do that right there. And if, hey, if you wanna save that onto your desktop as well, just like Excel and Word, you can do that. But we, this one is actually, you have to click on download as, and then download a copy to your computer. So you can do that and just click on download and that file will download to your desktop. And I can drag that over to my desktop. So that's how you do that. Hey, and you might be asking me, hey, how do you upload files from your desktop? Well, let's head back out to um, Office here. And there is a file, a button here on the right-hand side. Um, I don't know if you can see it. It's right above my head there. And it says Upload and Open. So if I click on that, I can grab either one of these files that I just made. So we'll just grab that one, hit Open, and your file will be open automatically after upload is complete. And now it's uploaded and opening up. And there it is. So that's the one that I downloaded to my desktop. Super simple to do. So we're not gonna go any further into showing you how to use these programs today. There's plenty of tutorials on YouTube that'll show you how to do that. But we did promise to show you a second way if you're using Windows 10 and an easier way probably to get Microsoft Office for free. So let's head back over to my desktop here. And the one thing you're gonna to wanna to do right down here at the bottom where it says type here to search, we are gonna type in Office. And when you type in Office, you can see that there is an app called Office. And what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna right click on that and pin that to my taskbar. You can see there's an option that says pin to taskbar. And when I do that, down at the very bottom, you can see there is an Office logo. So I can either click on the app here right in the search or I can click right here at the bottom, and it is gonna open up Office for me. And because I was already logged in in my previous session, it's already logged me in. If you're doing this for the first time, you're, it's gonna ask for your email address and password, that sort of thing again. But because we'd already logged in, it allowed us to get right in here. And again, everything is right here, Word, Excel, PowerPoint. And again, a super easy way to get Microsoft Office for free. So I hope this video helped you out in getting Microsoft Office for free and legally. You've got access to Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Outlook, and so much more. If this video did help you out, make sure to smash that like button. Also remember to subscribe to Northern Viking Every Day because I've got tons of videos coming up that I would love to share with you. Thank you so much for watching today and take care.